Hello, Dade County students and parents. I hope that the 2015-16 school year is off to a great start for all of you. Throughout this school year, I hope that members of this staff can keep you informed of different events that might be happening on our campus. Let me remind you to be sure and check out our website at the web address located on your screen. Our calendar is periodically updated to keep you informed of the many different events that your student may be involved in. Today, I would like to take just a minute and in introduce a couple of items. These items include our new Student Services Director at Dade County High School and a new online learning platform that contains ACT and SAT test prep resources. The first item of interest is to introduce Ms. Sandy Bradley. Ms. Bradley is no stranger to many students of Dade County. Ms. Bradley has been serving the students of Dade County for 25 years. Most of her time has been spent teaching at Dade Elementary. In her new role at Dade County High, Ms. Bradley will serve in the capacity of Student Services Director. She will assist guidance counselors and administrators to ensure that students are meeting graduation expectations very similar to Mr. Ballard's role in the past. Ms. Bradley will also assist the guidance counselors and administrators with all standardized testing. This includes any state or national assessment that students participate in while in high school. This leads me to my next particular item of interest. Did you know that your student has access to online ACT and SAT test prep? Edgenuity is a new online learning platform that can be used by our teachers as a resource to support classroom instruction. While the online platform is in the early phases of implementation, it has many great features that may support your child's educational process. The cool thing about Edgenuity is the fact that it is web-based and can be accessed 24-7. Another great feature about Edgenuity is the ACT and SAT test-taking resources. Each Dade County High School student has a unique username and customized password to access the platform. Several of our students may already be using Edgenuity as a credit recovery option. If so, they will have a separate unique username to access the ACT and SAT test prep resources. Students' usernames and passwords have been issued to them by their social studies teachers. The first time a student logs into the online platform, they will be expected to view an eight minute informational video. Ms. Bradley will now provide for you an online tutorial on how to navigate through the program. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us. Hello, this is Mrs. Bradley, the graduation coach here at Dade County High School, and I'm going to show you how to use our free ACT and SAT prep courses that our school system has purchased for you. We are going to use this on a website called learnedgenuity.com. You can go that direction, or you can just go to the Dade County Schools webpage and click Edgenuity, and it will take you to this login screen. For your login, you will use your first and last name, and then for your password, you will use your five-digit student code. In a few instances, you'll have to put a two after your first and last name, and we're sorry, some of them uh, just came out like that uh, as the company inputted our names. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a demo today and show you what's available on this fantastic resource. All right, so you will log in by clicking Students. And as you go to this main login screen, again, that's where you're going to put your first and last name. If you're John Smith, you would just put John Smith, all lowercase and all together here. Um, if it doesn't work, you will add a two at the end of that. I'm just using an example account. Your password is your five-digit student ID number. Click Login. And if you do see this screen, just click Continue. Sometimes you will. All right, there is our listing of courses. As you will see, we have ACT English 1, Math 1, 2, and 3, Reading 1 and 2, ACT Science, ACT Writing, and then we have SAT Math 1, 2, and 3 with Critical Reading and Critical Writing as well. It's a very good menu that's going to help you with whatever you need. So just for an example, we're clicking into Math 2, and I'm going to click Course Map. This is going to show you um, the types of skills that you could work on as you're preparing for your SAT. Math 2 is just your middle uh, of the road, Math 1 being a little easier, and Math 3, of course, on the higher difficulty level. So for the example, I'm going to click into Solving Inequalities. Uh, if we wanted to review some vocabulary, we could click there, but we're just going to go on into the direct instruction. Anytime you click direct instruction, you're going to expect to see a teacher video uh, showing how to work problems and to help you as you strengthen your skills. 
So um, just to save time, we're just going to take a peek at this and then go right back out of it. Anytime we want to go back out, we just go to that upper left corner to the little house. You click your home button and it takes you back to where you were. So now we're going to move on to a different skill, multiplying monomials. And as we click into that, once again, you will see the areas that you can click. We are going to click direct instruction again. Maybe we needed just a quick review here. So uh, once again, your teacher will load. And uh, if we watched a little further, we would see her working some problems for us. So now it's time to say maybe do some practice problems. Click into practice. And once there, you will have your multiple choice format um, problems for you to practice. And as you go through these, you will see that we do have the settings set where it will show you correct and incorrect answers. All right, so anytime you are needing to go back to your main menu, click return to the lobby, and that puts you back to your menu where all of your courses are listed. We are so excited to offer this to you. We hope it will help you as you prepare for the ACT and the SAT. You should be logging in in class for the first time during the social studies class just to make sure your login is working. Just let your teacher know if you need any additional help, and good luck.